Hi, I'm Rachel from Heavy DB Love Shop and Blue Raven Journey, and this is going to be a series of discussions about our chakras and our energy body. This is a series created so that we can learn about chakras and how they react in our real lives. The first thing we should remember so that this makes sense and that we can understand about chakras and our real lives is that we are complex, multifunctional, magnificent beings. Let's ask yourself, what's your favorite color? What color um, do you dislike? Is there a color you're uncomfortable with decorating with or wearing? Um, do you have colors that you have that you wear all the time and what are they? Do you decorate each room of your house different? And so this series will help you take a look at yourself and what you've learned through life and what chakras that you are comfortable with. Understanding our energy is key to understanding ourselves and the universe that lies within us. To learn and understand our energy helps us to learn and understand other people's energy, their behaviors, their actions. What is a chakra? It's an ancient word that when it breaks down, it means spinning wheel, spinning wheel of energy. We have seven main spinning wheels of energies that we call chakras, starting at the base of our body. It's located at the base of our spine. It includes our legs, our feet, and the first three vertebrae, and it's the root chakra. Our second chakra is the sacral chakra. It's located within our pelvis. Our first chakra, the root, it connects to the color red. And our second chakra, the sacral, connects to the color orange. Our third chakra is the solar plexus. It's our energy center. It is the fuel of our being and our existence. It connects with the color yellow, and it's located within our core, our abdomen. Our first three chakras are the base and the foundation and the driving power of who we are. They also absorb energy very easily and it's important that we um, be aware and be conscious of them and make sure that we are balanced and flowing. Our fourth chakra is the beautiful heart center. It's located in the center of our chest and it connects to the color green. It actually has two sides. The front is the green color. It is about how you give love to all those around you. The back of the heart is where we find the beautiful pink, and it's all about self-love. And so how does that respond with you? Is it balanced? Do you give? Do you receive? Is it balanced in both? The heart chakra also has a very special quantum aspect. It's the freeway of our chakras. It's the release from our lower chakra centers. All that energy that can be absorbed there, it releases through our heart center. So it's very important that we keep our heart opened and balanced so that our first, second, and third chakras can also be open and balanced. That they have a way to release freely and healthy. Our fifth chakra is our throat chakra. It's located in our neck and it has such beautiful gifts that come with it. It allows you to speak your truth in a calm and healthy way. It allows you to say no if you need to. And it connects with all of our chakras about all of our actions and our behaviors. Our throat chakra connects with the color of blue and it is part of the gateway to the universe. Next, we have our third eye. It's located in between our brow and our forehead is where we will always draw it on diagrams. It connects with the beautiful color of indigo. The third eye is where you connect with yourself, your higher self, and receive and share information with your higher self, your intuition. And if you connect the third eye with your heart center, you can allow it to be your internal GPS to flow you through your life in a healthy, loving, supportive way. Our seventh chakra is our crown. It's located at the top of our head and begins to stream to the universe. It connects with the color purple the royal purple that guides us out to the universe. It connects us with the creator source that is a part of us and within us. 
it's important that all of our chakras be aligned. The lower chakras help us to be grounded and stable, while our upper chakras connect us to the universe to help us to create that infinity of who we are, to connect with the earth below and the sky above, and we are the connection of both. We are our divinity, and our chakras help to create that. And in this series, you'll begin to see and understand just what a magnificent being that you truly are. We also have an amazing eighth chakra called the Ka. The Ka. K-A. It's often not talked about, but it is the gateway to the cosmos and to open it and keep it open. It's very simple, but it's based on you, how you see yourself, how you see your value, and do you see yourself as worthy. And if you can see your value and see yourself as worthy, you can open that gateway to the constant connection of the universal consciousness, the super consciousness, if you will. I hope that you enjoy this series and I can't wait to share more.